We're going to Pensacola Beach, Florida. We're gonna do some surf fishing. We got some beginners in our group, and we'll show you our tactics and the success that we had. Surf fishing requires a lot of gear, so we had a wagon full of bait, tackle, gear, and our fishing rods. First task is to rig up our tackle. We're going with a double drop rig, two hooks, and a heavy weight. We'll be casting our baits out beyond those waves there and setting them in PVC pipe holders. Our three main baits were sand fleas, shrimp, and fish bites. Then the waiting begins, keeping a careful eye on those rod tips. We're using Cast King Megatron reels and Okuma rods in 8, 9, 10, and 13 foot lengths. found it necessary to check our lines to see if we still had bait and often to recast them.
still got him? Space did it take? Our first day was slow, only that one fish, but we got ready for the next day with renewed hope. It's a new morning here in Pensacola Beach. It's the second day. It's been kind of slow. We're out here at dawn. Mike's setting this one out. He's got hurting feet. We're setting up our rigs. Brian got a bite right off the bat and lost it. We're going to give it a shot with our sand fleas and shrimp. Action was fast that first hour. In fact, I caught two at one time, but we didn't get it on camera. Let's put, do it again. 12 in, this is 11 and 3 quarters. That one's about 14. Well, that would stop really when you... Here, go get some water. Real quick. Measure that one real quick. Hey. 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 Rod. Go get it. Go get it. Say your big one. Just grab it. Is that the big one? Just grab it. Look, two at one time. And of course he caught a third one too. They're all eagle. You wanna say something? Got three pompanos. After a day and a half of fishing, catching one, we finally got three right off the bat on the third morning. We found our bait coming off our hook quite often, so we used the magic thread to wrap it up and to secure it. We also found that to get our baits out beyond the waves, we had to wait out there to cast, often at the risk of being hit by a wave.
You feel him on there? Yeah, that was quick. Among the necessary fishing gear is a good folding chair, and they were having trouble getting this one to fold down. We hooked one more fish that morning, but unfortunately it got off. You, you still got him? Come down with the pole. Look, look. The results of our labors is a fresh fish dinner of filleted and fried pompano. Whenever they have time off, they can go pompano fishing. It makes it hard for people to learn how to be, have much skill with catching pompano. Mm -hmm. Here's our uh, pompano slabs and fillets. Got a stack of them here. And then they're going into the frying pan. How you cooking them, Mike? We have butter, we have garlic, we have salt. We're gonna taste the fish instead of smothering it with strong flavors. There we go. Look at all that butter. That's all gonna right, be yes, so, how about that? That's a good word for cooking it. We're gonna put a dollop. Is it? Eat some more. It'll stay hot. Mmm, look at the steam. Are you hoping it'll be scalding me? How is it? Delicious. Tastes great. Very juicy. Mine's gone. <laughs> trout out of the river, clean them, put them on the fire, like right there. You don't want to use that.